And next weather meteorologist at Gonzalez is standing by with a look at what we can expect. And it is so humid out there, oh my, my hair. Gosh. It <laughs> says it all. Thick. It's it's weather you can wear. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's how thick the humidity has mm -hmm. been. And we are going to continue with that this afternoon. A heads up, it is going to feel like 95 to 100 degrees in some spots. So make sure that you prepare that extra bottle of water for yourself, for your kids, if they're heading to school, if they're going to be out in that heat and humidity. And with increasing moisture, south of the salt front. There will be the chance for some showers today and a few more storms as compared to yesterday. However, the rain chance will be highest as we head into tomorrow and even into Friday. But really, tomorrow appears to be when we'll deal with the potential for downpours, numerous storms, flooding, and then less humid weekend ahead behind the front. So we can look forward to that. Just got to get through the next few days as we wake up right now with the 80s in Miami and here in Fort Lauderdale and down across the Keys. And I want to show you the feels like forecast temperatures because by noon, it will feel like the mid to upper 90s across South Florida. And and as we head into 2 p.m., it could feel like 101 in Miami, could feel like 99 in Marathon, 96 in Homestead, and even still at 5 p.m., feeling like the 90s. As we look at our next radar network, I mentioned I've been tracking these showers that were just off to the east over the Atlantic waters. Now sneaking on shore, Pompano Beach, rain in your neighborhood, as well as some rain now heading towards Bay Harbor Islands. As we head throughout the morning, we'll be dealing with these spotty showers. And then as we head into the afternoon, I anticipate and the models are showing the storms will likely push towards the interior in the West Coast. But look at your Thursday tomorrow. Keep your rain gear handy, folks, as we're going to be dealing with a scattered to numerous and possibly even widespread storms that could lead to some localized flooding. And then some storms lingering Friday, a transitional day before the drier air and the less humid air arise this weekend.